What's up everybody? My name is Rob Simmons and welcome to my channel. I am back with a very part musical, Act 1, Part 13. I am very eager to see what this part brings because Part 12 and the uh, cliffhanger with Yule Ball and Harry and Cedric activating the Porky. Let's see where it took them. Cedric, someone punched me in the face and my sense of direction got a little goofed up. Well, it seems clear to me now that that punch later was a port key. And now, thanks to you, we've both been transported to some mystery location. <laughs> Brilliant, Cedric. Well, you're a Hufflepuff. Why don't you find a way out of this place, okay? Harry, I think I found something. <laughs> it appears to be a headstone. We must be in some sort of graveyard. Tom Riddle, Mary Riddle, Tom's Riddle. Riddle uh -oh. me this, eh, Potter? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this place. I think we gotta get out of here. Good idea. Cedric, you're a Gryffindor. Where's your sense of adventure? God! Cedric, you are so annoying, okay? You're like this guy that's just around all the time when I don't need a guy around. You're this spare guy all the time. The spare dude. You're such a spare. Kill the spare! I'm about to catch up! Oh no. <laughs> so many regrets. I'm dead. <laughs> oh. oh, my wizard guy. I feel a little guilty left about that. That's the best. Metrifagus Tortellus. I said, well, you just killed Cedric. Not I, Potter. But perhaps you'd like to see who did. He's dying to see you. Oh, there he is! Harry Potter, the boy who lived. It's good to see you again. The cauldron is ready, my lord. Cauldron? What are you guys going to do? Eat me? It's gross. Ah, as delicious a dish as I think you'd make, Potter. I need a stomach of my own to digest you. I haven't got one of those yet. Foot. 